Alright, um, this video is about Brickfields of Pakistan. I started work on it last night, and those of you who are familiar, I already finished uh, and watched me do the Russia division of Bangladesh. I'm, I'm done making the KMLs for Bangladesh. And then I got curious and I got lame, I just randomly started exploring India, these smart Indy classes, I just needed the color contrast. Uh, I actually the fields in India. I kind of like the color white, whitish gray. So I drew a random line across the indo gangetic plain on the southern end of it. Across the Gangetic Plain, and these two are not brick fields. These are like houses, places of curiosity. And I didn't name them all brickies because that takes too much time. Uh, I'm just going to show you a few. There's one done on eat day. This one was done while I was on the phone with Appa, my older sister. I was talking about when this uh, uh, conversation was. I have conversations like in fluid like visual mode. So this part and that part and that part was done during a 40 minute conversation. Uh, it's like you're having a lot of So no, it's not the respect. It's normal for me to do that. To do uh, and they kind of break off here in India. There's no big field on this line. This is a random line, so it does not fall into any pattern unless it crosses the previous pattern. And this is, I have no idea. Oh, this is actually a bricky. This is an old bricky. They have a circular type brick kiln in India that they sometimes use. This one this one has not been used in a while. Uh, I thought it was a puja manda. It's not. It's a paisa manda. Never mind. Bad humor, or perhaps a little awkward. And I like center of town in old Indian villages and beginning to grow. They always have little trees in them. And the boundary and this thing. Very interesting. And I finished it all. Obviously, this is the Thar Desert. You're not going to find any brick field in here because it's. Well, if you do, it's going to be a rarity, and it's going to be a pattern so rigid, you will be able to read a lot of things. Anyway, before battery dies, and what hits 28 minutes, 29 minutes, minute, uh, it's set to shut up. This is how far I have Pakistan. So I drew a random line. Uh, Camera okay. So, last time I was talking about the brick fields near Spezan, and I had it up to here. There's a bunch of extras here, a bunch of extras in these two, and this is a brand new bunch. And note the color. I will make some remarks later on either in this video or later videos, the spezant, the brick fields, are very dark because of coal dust. Once they use it, it becomes dark because of coal dust, because uh, coal is mined openly in open pit mines in uh, this area, in Balochistan. As a matter of fact, I yesterday when I was messing around, I found coal mine somewhere around here. Uh, this is a drainage pattern that they try to do added, added uh, uh, water catchment, added zone water catchment. 
Uh, they've started it, it'll take years before the soil turns into uh, sorted groups where clay, low particulate matter accumulates and lets plants get a foothold. And they used to have a lot of curries these around here, curries, curries, curries. Here. These are open pit coal mines. When I was younger, I saw a video, and there was this kid on a hillside, and he was playing with rocks, and he was collecting black things, and he was uh, picking up quila. And the interviewer, I think it was Saloni, he asked to walk out, and get out of quila to kill, right? But then, so I went up this whole route and I couldn't find anything and these are Mingora and places I couldn't find anything. Uh, the pattern is very difficult to identify but once you find the pattern of brick fields you will find its cousins very easily. So right now, uh, today I was up to here and when it was silent. This cluster has to have reason for sale, reason for existence in a market and it, if the market is not rigidly controlled there's got to be more brick fields. Find a road power. In Bangladesh, the brick fields are uh, river meanders and roads that have to necessarily follow the rivers around, and trucks that need to necessarily have water mud and water the road. Patterns are different. Here, this is the Punjab Sind uh, synthetic irrigation plant. Pakistan has one of the largest irrigation systems in the world, 33,000 miles of canals, or the matrix calculus of that would be well we So finding the brick fields in Pakistan's canal system is a different game than finding brick fields in India in the Gangetic Plain or thinking about finding brick fields in India in the Thar Desert or finding brick fields in Bangladesh in the meander in between the meanders of rivers and the high and low flood points, including and above and beyond that. So uh, you have to let it settle and just relax. Into it. Feel it all, keep the feelings. What you get, you get to keep. That's yours forever, unless God makes you push it. And he will. Don't let you. But there's one thing. It's entirely possible some of the Indian kiln style crossed over. Because brick making is a 120 year old industry in India, uh, this style. And there is a journeyman brick making uh, style which is practiced in parts of Pakistan as well as parts of India. 
where you get craftsmen who come and make bricks for a season. Sometimes they can, I don't know, I'm guessing they probably bring people who lay bricks. And that's how come you see these Ali Shan, Zamindari, Dalan Kota. In the middle of nowhere, but everything else is Tatar. Let me know if your head spins. Scream to God, he'll tell me. It feels like things are necessary to quit from watching. Don't scream at me, I'm likely to throw a stick at you. Okay, the last few were in this area, there's got to be some more here. Here we go. Feel it. Feel it really hard. Don't try to engage your head. Your head will come along. Just feel it with your heart. So I must have put in about 200 push pins last night and this morning when I woke up I didn't sleep till about 4.30 I was doing this. But once I get in the groove of it, it's, just, it's like a cow cart in a rut in the road. It doesn't want to go sideways. Ones are not feasible. They are old type uh, business model. One brick kiln in an area and nothing within 10 miles is not feasible. That's old type. Right now you have, there'll generally be two within three. Sometimes there are huge amounts. I'm going to leave this part here and I'm going to give you a little peek at what is around Islamabad uh, at of Wakant. Um, after this, I'm going to go and do, do a mapping of how many places people break rocks. उन्हें तो ना क्या है भाई दो दिन की दुनिया डेढ़ दिन का तिजारत शुरू तो बिल्कुल भी वेस्ट टाइम है दिस इज़ द बिगेस्ट गर्डल क्लस्टर इन Pakistan, so far that I've found. The one around Dhaka is heavier. Oh, yikes. Hmm. And I looked for information regarding big peoples in Pakistan. It did spend very long, 30 minutes, but I couldn't find anything except two news articles. And one of them was about Pakistanis in big Brick fields of Kuala Lumpur, um, and I thought Kuala Lumpur has brick fields. It's a bazaar area. It's like Brixton. So where was I? Oh, let's start right here. It's got to have more.
uh, once you find one, you want to find the transportation mode. In Pakistan, it has to be a road. In Pakistan, Bangladesh, India, nobody transports brakes by rail. Unless it's, I don't know, Italian marble. Or Italian tiles. Italian tiles, India probably replaced almost all of it. I don't know if Italian tiles have a market in India, you know. Market is necessarily a blind space. So don't get all like excited like you know, we got bigger market than you, you got less than us, etc. It doesn't really matter to me. It's all grind. And shit hits the ceiling pan, everything shakes. A little COVID-19 sequestration morbidity. Morbidness. Morbidity means something else. It means death rate, not time. Deathly smelly humor. Hello. Zigzag type nine nikale. Oh, the other article found is that Pakistan has emphasized putting in zigzag type kilns uh, where the blue gases flow in a in a Z. Sorry, something like that, uh, and it causes better combustion and more even heating, and you get more uh, high quality bricks which tend to sink. When you bang them together, they have a metallic tone to them. It'll tell you right away. If there's a road, if there's a busty, and if there's flat top roofs on the busty, it is no longer wood beam adobe roof. It is concrete, so it's got consumption. Okay, here is a problem. This guy, he bought, and I've explained this before, but I'm going to do it again for a video. Every time I see it, I feel like it's the same. So this guy bought area for his kiln. That is just his kiln area. This is his drying yard. Got a mixing, making adobe blocks. Adobe blocks. So to connect it, I will just do this. I know it's that because it does not look like even a buckley would look at it. In the dehat, if a buckley doesn't want to look at something, the dehat won't go there. You understand now? These are old-fashioned houses. Uh, the distribution is water drainage system and ownership and discussion arrangements, so they are curly streets. The modern engineers, they always like straight streets and then they have to lay down sewer lines and then everything hits the same.
No offense. It's just one of the things they don't teach you in engineering school. I've been there a couple of times and then I'm kind of off there, so I have to ask God, what is the meaning of this engineering kind of thing? I studied a little bit of computer science. Technically, I'm good. Philosophically and socially, I'm proud to not touch anything that I cannot touch with my bare hands. This is not their work. This is like me looking at people's business life. Now see the pattern? Pull back after this one. Pull back and you look at the pattern. Uh, is it three? Then it might be difficult to find four. Check the town. Whatever you're looking at, make sure it counts. It is Brickfield. Town. Everyone's using a lot of bricks here, hardly any. These are built on plots that had adobe houses. So, this is the congealed intelligence of a people's movement across a land with their lives involved. This is a different kind of engineering than regular square grid patterns. Hello. Here we go. So I'm going to make a two-part thing on it and then try and combine the videos. Not that that means anything, it's just technical mumbo jumbo. So in Punjab, people don't waste coal. Uh, even, uh, especially near Islamabad, people do not waste coal. You don't, in the kiln area, uh, I'll take you back right now where the iron is hot. Charlie, put a line down there. Line, so I can't see where I'm putting the in a second. Hello. Um, the neatness of big fields, coal usage in Islamabad, it's not neatness, it's economics. Their coal is more expensive. It has to be dragged all the way from either Karachi if they're importing. Uh, whether it's Islamabad, right? Yeah, he came over here. Yeah. Random pick one center. Do you see any black marks around here? You can hardly track their coal bunker. Their coal bunker is neatly packed up in the corner right here. There's hardly any coal spillage. In Balochistan, there'll be coal spillage all over this. And I found out why Spezan has so many brick fields. Because their folks don't do farming anymore. Uh, they got into the transportation business. They, they, Spezan is a giant transportation hub. I just found it, it's like, wow, interesting, 60 foot trucks, the truck gridlock, gridlocks in a truck stand in such a way that you have to wake up 14 people to move one truck out. Which is kind of nice, you know, it's like, uh, it, it tells you about a different conversational dynamic in the people of the area. Can I drive a truck? Uh, no, 60 foot, but I could learn. Would they give me a job? No, fuck it, no, I don't speak the language. Speak, fair. Pardon my French. So 
Who? What do we have? That guy is alone. There's a road here. Follow that road. Uh, one brick field, especially with a drying yard this small, it is impossible to run on a crop. Where is it? Where is his? Is it a puzzle? I don't see it. And it has to be, his drying yard has to be near the road. across somebody's kit when he got to that thing. All across India. The Indian subcontinent. That's human. Not necessarily. The Chinese hand didn't care. Industrial Belt Town rooftops. You can tell by the quality of the rooftops if the townspeople use much brick. Pakistan does not allow Google Street View, otherwise, this could be a serious critique. India doesn't allow much uh, Google Street View either. Bangladesh does, which makes the job a lot easier in and around Dhaka sometimes. But my, uh, I'll show you what I'm doing right now in Bangladesh. Uh, Charlie, drag line, otherwise you can't Uh, the way you read patterns, your last known pattern is still resident in you, so you want to save it in a state that you can come back to. That way you can do rolling pattern mapping. Oh, so uh, I drew this grid work earlier, I've shown you, uh, and I've shown in videos. Uh, so you can do it any which way you want and you can cut them out to any which way you want and then go put it back in any which way you want like so so my next level of data structure acquisition is finding out what roads are these guys using to get their bricks to market. So after I pulled off all of these are all bricks, but I don't have to have all of them. I just randomly went, I just randomly went and put as many un untitled place marks or brick fields as I could. And from there, I'll map a road. 